For the past two years, our Stock the Pantry food drive has helped fill the shelves at Feeding the Gulf Coast with thousands of pounds of food meant for children who will soon be out of school for the summer. Many of them will not be getting the nutrition they need. Sometimes in the cafeteria you can kind of see the students who may be experiencing food insecurity at home because you can watch, you know, um, maybe how fast they eat or how much they eat or coming back for seconds and want, want more. One in five children in our community are facing hunger. And what does that look like? It's a child going home to, to not enough food, maybe no food. Uh, we know during weekends, during the, when the school year is uh, out and it's time for the cafeterias to shut down, kids don't have access to that to very important nutrition. Last week, our partners for Stock the Pantry picked up their red barrels to be able to collect donations of food. And that's where you come in. We're asking you to partner with us as well and donate food for Stock the Pantry and Feeding the Gulf Coast. The organization says your donations do make a difference. By folks making these donations and these red barrels and getting them to this food bank so we can sort that food with volunteers who give it their time freely and then get that out into our pantry uh, uh, network along with our child nutrition sites makes a real difference in the lives of children every single day. Ledger says Stock the Pantry is an important awareness tool as well. Many people may not know about the level of hunger some children are facing. Annette Anderson is keenly aware of it though. She's on the front lines at Chickasaw City Schools. She even opened her own mini food bank in the school to help. So uh, we have students who are latchkey kids. So they are home before the parents and they also have to take care of their siblings. So one way we want to deal with food insecurity is provide food at the school for them. So not only do they get a free lunch, uh, they also get seconds, but they're able to go inside our pantry and shop for readily um, edible items. So uh, they take that and they go home with it and they can feed the little ones at home. And you heard Anderson say the key is readily available foods kids can handle. These are the kind of things we're looking for, little snacks that kids can have in the afternoon, and there's lots of those out there. Or things like this, things that come in a can or a box. This is an easy open can. They don't need a can opener. They can open it, put it in a bowl, put it in the microwave. It's also easy for you to get involved in Stock the Pantry. Just look for the red barrels at any of our partner locations. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.